Welcome to Morning Prayer and Worship. This is Friday in Easter week in the church calendar. Walking out the resurrection and the life of Jesus. If you have a prayer request, I encourage you to go to benwardmusic.com slash prayer request. It'd be our honor and our joy to pray for you and with you. Merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name. Friday of Easter week, our psalm is Psalm 116, 1 through 8. I love the Lord because he has heard the voice of my supplication, because he has inclined his ear to me whenever I called upon him. The cords of death entangled me, the grip of the grave took hold of me. I came to grief and sorrow, then I called upon the name of the Lord. O Lord, I pray you save my life. Gracious is the Lord and righteous. Our God is full of compassion. The Lord watches over the innocent. I was brought very low and he helped me. Turn again to your rest, O my soul, for the Lord has treated you well, for you have rescued my life from death, my eyes from tears and my feet from stumbling. I will walk in the presence of the Lord the land of the living. I walk with you, God. I 
John 21, 1 through 14. Jesus showed himself again to the disciples by the Sea of Tiberias, and he showed himself in this way. Gathered there together were Simon Peter, Thomas called the twin, Nathaniel of Cana in Galilee, the sons of Zebedee, and two others of his disciples. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. And they said to him, We will go with you. They went out and got into the boat. But that night they caught nothing. Just after daybreak, Jesus stood on the beach, but the disciples did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, you have no fish, have you? And they answered him, No. He said to them, Cast the net to the right side of the boat, and you will find some. So they cast it. Now they were not able to haul it in because there were so many fish. That disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. And when Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he put on some clothes, for he was naked, and jumped into the sea. But the other disciples came in the boat, dragging the net full of fish, for they were not far from the land, only about a hundred yards off. And when they had gone ashore, they saw a charcoal fire there, with fish on it and bread. And Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish that you have just caught. So Simon Peter went aboard and hauled the net ashore, full of large fish, 153 of them. And though there were so many, the net was not torn. And Jesus said to them, Come and have breakfast. Now none of the disciples dared to ask him, Who are you? Because they knew it was the Lord. Jesus came and took the bread and gave it to them, and did the same with the fish. This was now the third time that Jesus appeared to the disciples after he was raised from the dead. You prepare a table for us You prepare a table A feast For our souls The word of the Lord Thanks be to God. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Our collect of the day, the prayer we pray together collectively this Friday and Easter week the church calendar. Almighty Father, who gave your only Son to die for our sins and to rise for our justification, 
Give us grace so to put away the leaven of malice and wickedness that we may always serve you in pureness of living and truth. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. 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 I'm going to lead us in a time of guided prayer. I'll give prompts, continue to play, pray specifically and by name for those in your life today. Let's begin with our own hearts, our joys, thanksgivings, trials, worries, fears, frustrations. Lay it all before the Lord. Bless those who curse you. Pray blessing upon them. down today. Thank you for your resurrection life. Whatever we're going through, whatever we're struggling with, frustrated by, need clarity on, Lord, we look to you today. Go with us, Lord. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen and amen. Go in the peace and the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit, His life 
is inside of you, let it overflow to everyone around you, to every situation today. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Morning Prayer and Worship is a production of Steady Stream Ministries. Thank you for your support. BenWardenMusic.com slash donate. We need you and we thank you. Bye-bye.